Andarke namaskaramulu. Today is another good evening for all of us that we are going to have a webinar from Sri Ram Mohan Garu. He is well known to all of us. He has given some webinars earlier also and also he is uh, also part of our uh, Sanatana Dharma courses, the advanced course which is going on now. Uh, on behalf of uh, Veda Samaskriti Samiti and all of you, let us welcome Ram Mohan Garu. I will introduce him briefly after uh, Vande Mataram and then Prarthana. So let us uh, uh, start with Vande Mataram. I will sing. I request all of you to mute yourself. Vande Mataram. Vande Mataram. Sujalam Sufala. Malaya <laughs> Suvashini, Sumadhura Bhashini, Sukhadam Varadam Mataram, Vande Mataram, Vande Mataram. Vande Mataram. Dhaniya Vadam Nandi, Vijaya Chandra Maligaru. Okay, now let us request uh, H.P. Rao Garu to chant Pradhana, please. Hari Om. Pradhamam Jhanam Ekam Nimisham Tadanantram Trinka Trivaram Vankaram Tadanantram Praram Pradhana Adhan Gurma Jhanam Ganapati Gum Hava Mehe Kadim Kabe now, Pavasravastam Jestarayam Brahmanam Brahmanas for the honors from one of the Vesri Dasadanam O Mahagana di Pataye Namaha Prano Devi Saraswati Vaje Virvajini Vati Dinama Vatriavatu O Maha Saraswati Namaha Hari Hivo Asatoma sat gamaya, Amasoma jotip gamaya, Richorma amartan gamaya, Om shanti, shanti, shanti. Matru devo bhava, Pitru devo bhava, 
ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ದೇವೋ ಭವ ವಸು ಅತಿಥಿ ದೇವೋ ಭವ ಓ ಗುರುಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಗುರುರ್ವಿಷ್ಣು ಗುರುರ್ದೇವೋ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಗುರು ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ಪರಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುವೇ ನಮಃ ಹರಿ ಸರ್ವೇಭ್ಯ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಸರ್ವೇಭ್ಯ ಸ್ವಾಗತ ವ್ಯಾಹರಾಮಿ ಅಜ್ಜ ಅಷ್ಟ ಅಷ್ಟ ತ್ರಿಂಶತ್ ಅಧಿಕ ಶತಂ ಚರ್ಚಾ ವೇದಿಕಾಯ ಸರ್ವೇಭ್ಯ ಸರ್ವೇಭ್ಯ ಸ್ವಾಗತ ವ್ಯಾಹರಾಮಿ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಆರಂಭ ಕೂಡ ಓಕೆ ಧನ್ಯವಾದ ಮೇಡಂಡಿ ನಾವು ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಬ್ರೀಫ್ಲಿ ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ರಾಮ್ ಮೋಹನ್ ಗಾರು ಈ ಡಸನ್ ನೀಡ್ ಎನಿ ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಈಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ನೋನ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಐಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅ ಫ್ಯೂ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಹಿ ಮೇ ಬಿ ನ್ಯೂ ಸೊ ಬ್ರೀಫ್ಲಿ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೈ ಪ್ರಿವಿಲೇಜ್ ಟು ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಎನ್ ರಾಮ್ ಮೋಹನ್ ಗಾರು ಈಸ್ ಚೀಫ್ ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜರ್ ಇನ್ ಇಂಡಿಯನ್ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಅಂಡ್ ರಿಟೈರ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಥರ್ಟೀನ್ uh he is well qualified and some of his qualifications are uh, mba from ipge hyderabad ms in counseling and uh, physiotherapy and then many pg diplomas and then certificates and his uh, training programs he attended are many uh, and also he has got a certificates of appreciation from for participating as coordinator in development awareness programs he is basically a motivational speaker and he gave lot of uh, lectures even nowadays he is very busy with that he spared some time for us uh, i've been trying for him for last 2 3 weeks but uh, could not manage time this uh, this week you know somehow he could uh, spare some time for us so let us welcome him if i uh, have to read his profile it takes another 10 minutes so without going further into this so i'll request him to start the webinar please shall i start sir yeah yeah oh uh. ಅಂದರಿಕಿ ವೇದ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತ ಸಮಿತಿ ಸಭ್ಯಲಂದರಿಕಿ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ನೇನು ನಾ ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ರೆಂಡು ಬುಲೆಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಲೋ ಚೆಪ್ತುಂಟಾ ನಿಕ್ರೇನಾ ಗುಡ ರಾಮ್ ಮೋಹನ್ ನಮಿಲೆ 70 ನಾಟ್ ಔಟ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟೆಡ್ 70 ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಇನ್ 71st ಇಯರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಔಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಗ್ರಾಟಿಟ್ಯೂಡ್ ಟು ದ ಗಾಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಹೈಡಿಂಗ್ ಕೆಪ್ಟ್ ಮೀ ಹಿಯರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಟೈಮ್ ನಂಬರ್ 2 Ram Mohan Namile retired chief manager in Indian Bank as a gratitude to my alma mater in which I have worked for 38 years. 38 years I was drawing salary and now I draw pension. So as an institutional patriarch, uh, that I mentioned. These two things I mentioned. Beyond that, normally I don't mention any other uh, thing. Then... Uh, Babu Gadu Rindumur Sadhu Naki, he was telling me of this, uh, this thing, but uh, somehow because of the various other uh, allegations, I could not make it. In fact, uh, yesterday, today, tomorrow, I think uh, today, tomorrow, and day after three days, there are certain uh, celebrations going on at Ramakrishna at the lawyer, Goda, lawyer time back. And I am also associate uh, there. But still, today i left all other engagements right from morning i am at home only morning i just got up at 4 o'clock since then uh, i had been working on uh, this uh, topic in the past i have done a online program for uh, 18 days on bhagavad gita as a coordinator arranging 18 different speakers chapter wise and on the 19th day i gave a summary presentation uh, of the entire this in whatever uh, means and the level uh, i stand 
but that gave me a good scope to read each chapter every day with a view that if the speaker omits anything in that particular chapter or there is a scope for further uh, throwing light on it i could do it in the last uh, five six minutes or whatever so that was uh, my fair uh, uh, association with the uh, gita and now this again the uh, this fact then uh, we have certain uh, words shabdamu arthamu i am of the strong opinion out of my own experience that the more amount of vocabulary one possess there are dictionaries in various languages whatever language we are into language or languages at least we should know by a rough measure at least 10 to 15% of the words of the dictionary in that language while speaking or while writing uh, we should not search uh, for words to reasonable extent uh, this is one thing and then uh, how many languages should we know is another thing basically i am of the opinion that every indian citizen should at least to know five languages starting with universal language sanskritam number 2 international language english third national language rashtrabhasha hindi fourth your local area language in whatever area you are living across the globe that particular language and the fifth language i am compelled to add our own mother tongue for the simple reason that we do not have that expertise or a that higher level of knowledge even in our own mother tongue people here with various uh, different mother tongues can check uh, from themselves uh. this is a uh, one aspect today's uh, chapter what i took in consultation with the uh, lieutenant uh, babu garu in short i say gild guild guild is a word in the dictionary i checked it uh, that is my acronym which stands for geeta in daily life geeta in short we say otherwise bhagavad geeta when i say geeta in a rhythm i say geeta rata geeta is a line we can add any prefix for it life line straight line curved line rata is there should be a shape for the rata rata is a telugu word geeta is in other languages also and uh, in telugu if you extend geeta you can say geetamu also means a, a sort of a, a form of expression in between poem and prose particularly cinema geeta do then geeta in daily life geeta is told by krishna to arjuna around 5000 years back is it relevant to today is a first question there are certain universals one is time universal other is place universal time universal means across time from the beginning of the srushti till the end of the srushti that truth will prevail that i say time universal the other place other place universal is that that holds good in any part of the globe so gita is a time universal it was holding uh, through that time even now also content remains the same form may change so we need to take a little effort to make a chronological translation chronological translation means it's not a language to language uh, translation a translation from that period about 5000 years back to the present period what we are in uh, this is a uh, one thing and then i would like to 
share some questions with you, uh, which kindly ponder over. And uh, at the end of my session, in the question answers uh, session, uh, if time permits, we can discuss on this. Uh, uh, these are my own uh, questions that arouse in my mind, for which uh, I do not have a definite uh, answer. So I am putting before you. Question number one. In this world, why certain people suffer a lot and uh, certain people suffer a lot and certain people suffer less? Suffering is inevitable for mankind at some point or other or points or other in life that we can understand. But if you notice in the society, certain families, certain people suffer a lot and certain people very less. What could be the reason now? for it. The suffering in the form of uh, hunger deaths, accidental deaths, deaths with the burns. We say a degree, third degree burns and other thing. What could be the pain of that person carrying the body when uh, he has suffered third degree burns and was in the hospital for about two, three, four, one week, whatever. What amount of suffering uh, he or she might have undergone? Question number two. What uh, I made some radical statements, uh, but uh, with a positive bent of mind only. What if we are alive or dead? I am allowed this up now. Next moment, while giving the session itself, uh, I may collapse. What it makes, uh, it does not make any difference for the person who is leaving the world. But I have a little concern where people die, just marry with uh, one or two small children, I have I have a concern as a human being for them. Otherwise, it does not matter whether you are alive or dead. Another exception, if a particular person has a great amount of potential to serve not only his family, himself, his family, his nearby community, but can serve the society at large, across nationally or internationally, probably we are losing a good soul or a good potential person in him or her, in her. So except for these few exemptions, it does not matter. We human beings, according to Gita, whatever I am telling, I may not directly quote from Gita or here and there I may quote also, but flavor I take from it, the smell, of the origin, I take from it only. I connect it, if not directly, indirectly. We have people of the times, Nimitra uh, Matrulu. Nimitra Matrulu, these are Sanskritized words, and the gerund may be in little Telugu. Uh, just a simple uh, reason for that they are born. Nimitra Matrulu. If any big thing happens, uh, we require if you take into a vehicle, there are major parts, there are minor parts. Major parts will be less in number. Minor parts will be more in numbers, running into hundreds and thousands. So majority of the people are Nimitta Matrulu. Few of them are only Karana Janamulu. They are born with a purpose. Other people are not born with a purpose. Somehow they are born for whatever the, the law of the nature is. But this particular, the second set of person, but people, uh, that is Karana Janmalu, they are born for a purpose. Above this, very rarest of the rare breed, they are, they are we say, Avatara Purushalu. This Avatara Sri Han, Sri Krishna, Paramatma, Sri Krishna is a Avatara Purusha. So we have this uh, type, three types of uh, human beings. So this is a uh, one share. So this was with respect to my second question that we are neither Atara Purushas nor Karna Janmas, we are just Nimitta Matras. So what if we are there or not? But having birth, being living, we should perform to the peak of the potential. That uh, uh, I will speak on later, but the question part I am releasing to you so that you can share your thought on it and at the end we can discuss on this. Question number three. Dharma and Nyaya. Nyaya, we say law. 
in the modern language, we say law means nyaya. Dharma, there is no equivalent English word. Languages are so beautiful that languages are constructed on the basis of the culture of that particular land. Dharma is a traditional word in India, a Sanatan word, and I don't think there is any equal into translation in any other language. You have to transliterate as dharma only, D H A or M A. Then, are we following dharma? We can put a question everyone to themselves. Are the community as a whole, or even the government, it applies to individuals and the institutions? Institutions could be formal and informal. Government is also institution if formally elected by the people. So we operate only in two forms. One is at the individual level, other is at the group or the institution level. As an individual or institution, are we following dharma? That is my question. Or at least are we following nyaya? There is a huge difference between dharma and nyaya. If you are following alone, nyaya alone, probably you are not following dharma which is more, more vital than the Nyaya. If you are following Dharma, Nyaya is into it, it is already taken care of it. This is a question uh, that I wanted to place before you. Then the fourth question is that, are we enhancing our potential? Are we enhancing our potential that we have internally? and living up to our enhanced potential. Here I mean to say that, are we very lethargic, very slow? We don't uh, recognize, we don't identify our potential, we don't recognize, we don't realize, and we don't uh, perform to that level. Who is the loser apart from us? If we are, if for example, if we are having a 10 units of potential, if we are operating at the three or four level, who is the loser? It's a loss to the nation, basically. And if it is more higher potential is available, loss to the mankind across the world. This is one question now, question number four. And then, can we, hi, are we having approach beyond our mind? According to me, the biggest tool the topmost tool or equipment that we are given by the Almighty. Gods are several. Almighty is one. Sarveshwara, one Almighty. Under him, different gods. In our Indian tradition, we have each god for each type of activity. Nothing wrong in it. But ultimately, Almighty is the one. My question is that, do we have any supernatural talent or skill or power that we bypass or surpass, not bypass, surpass our mind and reach. In Indian tradition, we use the word trikalagnyata. Can we reach that? That we know the past. If not others, at least ours. Can we now reach our future? Ultimately, leave trikalagnyata. Can we think beyond our mind? Is there any such equipment, tool, with the yoga sadhana or whatever sadhana? Is it possible in the modern, the present days? This is the question number five. And the last to six question is that, to what extent our body and the mind are our control? Are they dictating us? Or are we controlling, administering, administering them? These are my six questions. Kindly note down your response, and at the end, we will uh, discuss uh, on this. Then now, I'll come back to the topic, Gita in uh, daily life. When we say Gita in daily life, what is our daily routine from morning to next day morning? Or right from the time we get up from our bed to the time we revisit our bed. So they would take it up, but they saw it that yeah, yeah, correct from the What is that we can take from Gita? This is one thing. I will 
come to that. Before that, another thing. We have Vedas, our traditional uh, literature, wisdom. I always keep saying that knowledge is modern and keep changing. Wisdom is traditional. Wisdom does not change. Wisdom is time universal and also place universal. Whereas knowledge may change from place to place, time to time. Change to change places are also not occurring these days for the simple reason that because of the science and technology advancement and telecommunication revolution, whatever is found in any part of the country on a particular day, within hours, within minutes, maybe at a cost, it is reaching the rest of the world, ROW, I use the short form, rest of the world. So this is the speed with which uh, we are going. Yet, wisdom does not change and Bhagavad Gita gives us wisdom. Wisdom in the form of knowledge. Whatever you say, ultimately it is the uh, wisdom. I also use two words here. One is fixed, other is flexible or floating. Knowledge is flexible and floating, but the wisdom is constant. Knowledge is variable, may be variable. Science and technology, these are all knowledge, yes, sir. But you apply to apply them in the right way, we need wisdom. This is uh, another thing I want to share. So our traditional wisdom is scripted in the form of uh, Vedas, Upanishads, and Puranas. Or we say, yes, yes, pay. Sruti means Vedas, Smruti below that, and then Puranas, Itihasas. This is what we have. Down that, Three important books are there for Indians. Bhagavatam, Bharatam, and uh, Ramayana. These three sacred uh, books are there. Then, one point. When we buy a product in the market, we get a product manual. Now, I put forth a proposition that we human beings are also products, maybe bio products or human products. The nature of the Almighty has so excellently designed the product in such a way that it functions perfectly. It functions perfectly unless we spoil it in our with our own minds. We spoil our own either physical or mental or both the health, uh, both the health, uh, and we de decapacitate ourselves. Otherwise, sufficient installed and inbuilt capacity is provided to all human beings, almost alike, almost alike at the beginning. Then we are all born with certain samskaras. I am not going to add depth to this rebirth and the recycling, but from modernity, we can go back to traditionality. When we are talking of the recycling, waste recycling in the modern days, you can recycling twice, thrice, or whatever this one. With a benefit of doubt, when there is a benefit of doubt, you should never contradict it, try to believe it, or be neutral. When the recycling here is possible, there is a probability of the human, uh, humans also getting recycled in uh, good sir. Uh, recycling of the human life, that is also possible. I, I am not concluding on that. It's a benefit of doubt we have to uh, take on the, that. Then, when there is a product manual, we being a human product or a bio product, should we not have a product manual or not? Bhagavad Gita is the product manual. Before Bhagavad Gita, there could be some other things. And what we say is that Bhagavad Gita is Upanishad Sada. Bhagavad Gita is the Upanishad Sada. 
it is not an easy approach in terms of the time and the long way skills to go through the entire Veda. Out of the four Vesas, to read one Veda without the meaning, to get the Veda by heart, I am told you can now rectify at the end of the session, 12 years it takes. The whole life, that way, the whole life for, uh, only for the going through the Vedas, uh, it takes. So that sara is given. Veda, Veda sara in Upanishad and Upanishad sara in the Bhagavad Gita. Then, Bhagavad Gita is a conversation between Bhagwan Krishna and Arjuna, otherwise Narayana to Nara. Arjuna was a rishi by name Nara, Nara in his previous birth. So Narayana, Nara, he was uh, almost as equal to as Narayana. They took this form of Arjuna and Krishna. They are referred to as a Nara, Narayana. So the easy approach to any human being is Bhagavad Gita, a human life product. We have dharma and religion, another two pair of words. Dharma is sanatana dharma and religion. Bhagavad Gita is as per sanatana dharma. It's not specific to any religion. It is generally applicable to all human beings across the globe. That is approximately 8 billion people. That is how we see that Bhagavad Gita is being uh, translated into several languages, being read by several people across the globe outside the India. This being one part of the case, there are also examples where within our own India, many people might not have gone through the Bhagavad Gita uh, at the minimum detail at least. Thanks to the cinema industry, particularly in Telugu, even Hindi also, and thanks to Ramananda Sagar for Ramayana and Yash Chopra, somebody who did Mahabharata, at least that reached, reached the masses. So this is uh, another uh, aspect. Now, I would like to go through the chapters of the Gita. Go through the chapters of Gita. You can also kindly make a note of this so that it will be comfortable to you to put to participate in any discussion uh, towards the tag end of my session. The first uh, chapter is A V Y. I use a lot of uh, short forms. A V Y. This uh, suffix yoga comes in all chapters of. The Gita. The first chapter is Arjuna Vishada Yoga. And for your uh, quick reference, there are 700 or 701 shlokas in the Bhagavad Gita. There is a little controversy that uh, uh, 700 only available. Out of this, this uh, the maximum shlokas are rendered by Sri Krishna, number into 574. And uh, these are answers given by the Lord. And 84, the questionnaire has asked Arjuna 84 questions. And Sanjaya, who was narrating to Dhritarashtra uh, in 41 or something, 41 this one, and Dhritarashtra, uh, the blind giant, G-I-A-N-T. I, I use the word giant because all of you know, you must be knowing. When we talk of Bhagavad Gita, we need to have a, some knowledge of Mahabharata also because Bhagavad Gita is rendered by Lord Narayana, Bhagavan Narayana, Bhagavan Vishnu in the form of Sri Krishna uh, in the backdrop of Mahabharata work. So there is a little link of Bhagavad Gita to Mahabharata. So we need to keep this also in the mind. Why I say G-I-A-N-T, G-N-T, Dhritarashtra? At the end of the war, most of you must be knowing because it's a very decent and highly elated organization, our Veda 
Samskrta Samiti, uh, in which all our members are quite enlightened and uh, they are having a reasonable tra traditional, not reasonable, uh, a higher level traditional knowledge. At the end of the war, when Krishna takes Pandavas to Dhritarashtra, <laughs> this is something ironically seeking blessings from enemy. There is a saying that whatever is happening in the world, you can directly correlate to a concerned incident in Mahabharata. Form may change, as I told you. The form of that time may be a little different. The form now may be different. Ultimately, the essence of the container is the same. Con content is the same. So, seeking the blessing from enemy. Krishna was a very chatura of his time. Chatura is a Sanskrit. Even in Telugu also we use the word uh, Chatura. Apart being Avatar Purusha, in the Avatar inbuilt, uh, he is a very uh, Chatura Payalu he was using and he was a Chatura uh, person. And he takes the Pandavas to Dhritarashtra. Dhritarashtra, according to the precedence, I mean, according to his character, Dhritarashtra could not tame his wild son Duryodhana for whatever reason. He could not take. In fact, Duryodhana was left in the forest for a couple of days when elders like Bhishma advised that uh, he is going to be a very heavy talk on the Purvamsha. But Dhritarashtra, out of the parental affection, he again brought him back after leaving them for a few hours or few days, whatever it is. But whatever reasons, Dhritarashtra could not tame down the wild Dhritarashtra. This is one thing. But he was in a blind affection. Though he was physically blind is one thing. He was in a blind affection to his son. And when he knew that it was Bhima that killed Duryodhana, there were previous symptoms also. If you go to the uh, Mahabharata detail story, out of the five Veras, like Jarasandha, Kichaka, Bhima, Duryodhana, and Bhaka, or somebody, whoever kills, whoever is get killed by any person out of this five, the remaining persons also will be will be killed by the same person. So there is a clear indication that there is a possibility of Duryodhana being killed by Bhima, despite that. Despite that, uh, Dhritarashtra, for whatever reason, he could not tame his own son, and even her mother, Gandhari, also could not tame Duryodhana. So, when Pandavas visited, along with the Krishna, to uh, Dhritarashtra, Dhritarashtra was eagerly asking for Bhima, Oh Bhima, you are the mighty warrior. I think the entire 18 days war was going in your hands. So, Krishna knows this. And uh, he takes a metallic, a strong metallic uh, figure in front of Dhritarashtra. Dhritarashtra, he is having such a mighty power, physical strength, that he smashed that metal uh, bhima into pieces. This bhima, innocent person, was ready to go to near to uh, Dhritarashtra, which was stopped by Krishna. That is why I use the word Nyant. Uh, but anyway, that here. Uh, we will uh, go through the chapters of uh, this one and try to, uh, try to understand the essence of these uh, chapters in a broad way because our time is uh, limited. Chapters are more. There are certain keywords. I did not work out that way. In my opinion, you can also try. There are 50 to 60 keywords in Bhagavad Gita. I am repeating. I did not uh, very much count. It may be slightly different from person to person. But according to me, there are 50 to 60 very pertinent and very key and critical words in Bhagavad Gita. One can try noting down these 50 words and mapping them with a proper sequence so that we can get the entire summary, just the essence of Bhagavad Gita, the wisdom and knowledge provided in the Bhagavad Gita for the contemporary human living. Right. I will read out the chapter. First chapter I was uh, saying the uh, Arjuna Vishada Yoga. Why Vishada move? All we human beings, we live 
in two ways. We, we, we cannot be out of it. One is we live in mood swings, MS, mood swings, or we say Navarasa. In dramatics, we say Navarasa. Krodha, Moha, all those things, there are nine rasas are there. We cannot remain in the same mood for a long length of time. That is never possible. If a person gets angry, lifelong, he cannot be in the angry mood. If a person uh, laughs for a couple of minutes, he cannot be in the same mood for the uh, uh, weeks and uh, months. So, Navarasa. In the Navarasa, we are also carrying in our backpack. These days, we use the word BSEK, PSEK, backpack. Our little uh, past days, shoulder back. What we carry? ASV. Again, it's a short form of mind for Ari, Shed, Varga. Ari means enemy. Shed means group of six. Var Varga means group. Shed means six. So enemies, numbering six, numbering in six, as a group. What are the enemies? Kama, Krodha, Moha, Madha, Lobha, Matsarya. We run our life with these things only. At the most, what we can do is that we cannot do away them totally, but with a good amount of effort, meditation or whatever you say, we can uh, tame them down and see that they are suppressed and do not appear on the fore, uh, except uh, on a rare basis. Uh, here, again, one more question. I already shared that question. Do we have control on our body and mind or they control us? According to me, both happen, but most of the time, we are in the control of our mind and the mind directs our body to, uh, to, to influence us to act. We have a lesser control on our mind and body and this is again possible by a deep meditation or whatever way we adopt. So, as any person is a, in a mood, at that particular juncture, Arjuna was in a vishada, I mean sorrowful state. Why sorrow? Because Bhishmacharya was the grandfather. Drona was the person who helped Arjuna to that extent that he got the thumb of Ekalavya cut. I think ultimately Ekalavya fought Kurukshetra on the side of the Ryodhana, maybe for the reason or some other reason. Nishada or dynasty, a tribal uh, uh, these things. So such Drona, he has to fight against him. This was not to the liking of Arjuna. But again, if we analyze it, the Sandhi means uh, the peace talks, when Krishna went to Hastinapura, peace talks failed. And the Pandavas took a unanimous decision, UD, to fight the war. That time, Arjuna never said that uh, I, I, I do not fight. That was the theory part of it. A resolution has been taken in the Pandavas camp that they should face the Kauravas in the battle field as the Kauravas were not coming to terms. And Duryodhana said to the extent that even a, a place that is occupied by the tip of a needle, he is not going to spare to Pandavas. Maybe I may give to other people, but not to Pandavas. That is the inborn rivalry that the Duryodhana was unnecessarily possessing. Uh, that character we say Murkha. I use the three M's. Only, it's a Telugu word, unduly, unreasonably stubborn, we say Mundi. Mudha, even if you tempt 10 times, he will not understand. Mudha, the third one is Murkha. Ramana in Ramayana times, Duryodhana in uh, Mahabharata times, they are the four Murkhas. Ravana is much knowledgeable. Duryodhana is also knowledgeable in certain skills, in certain warfare. He is also knowledgeable, 
but without knowledge without wisdom is more dangerous that is why olden days in guru parampara they used to select the shishya and they used they did not used to deliver the knowledge to all um, what we say uh, tom dick and harry they never used to they used to be a, a selection of the candidates okay that is uh, the one thing. so that was the theory when arjuna see the entire battlefield with a 18 uh, akshohini of sainya 11 on kaurava side 7 on pandava side 11 plus 7 18 18 is a very significant number in our traditional uh, these things 18 puranas ashtadasha we say in sanskrit ashtadasha puranas and 18 chapters in mahabharata 18 des mahabharata war and 18 akshohini of sound there is another story for it why these people were killed what was the need that is there and krishna wanted the battle to happen and he is capable of making things happen things happen in two ways they just happen is one thing somebody makes them happen is another thing only avatar purushas or karna jins karna janmulu they make the things happen and some of krishna saw that the peace talks spread and telling in a little lighter way and that yuddha kurukshetra is taking place and he never wanted arjuna to withdraw from the war so he has to take avatar of a guru a mentor coach friend philosopher and guide and through his influential skills he reverted he made arjuna to reverted his decision of not fighting the war arjuna who once threw the arrows and bow on the ground or in the chariot somehow krishna through this 570 four shlokas that he rendered and at the last again he faced krishna says the chatura i used the word that one whatever i was to tell i told you now it is for you either to fight or not that is the ending sentence told by krishna but krishna but krishna made uh, uh, such a uh, i mean influencing this thing arjuna has to face the war right so this uh, vishada yoga in the first chapter krishna patiently listens to arjuna he never says anything whatever krishna says only starts from the second chapter sankhya yoga sankhya means not statistics or sankhya sankhya means knowledge a higher knowledge that we say sankhya what is this yoga in every chapter towards the end we have put this yoga yoginchedi yogam a bit of telugu yoga is a combination i always use the another uh, phrase three words place people and time at a particular time all these three also are divided into three categories like uh, good bad and ugly bad time good time bad place good place what is the bad place yudhishthira dharmaraju he is the uh, what is the title for him despite the title uh, dharma dhyutamu gambling is not supposed to be played but again i said according to that time dharma whenever you are invited for a dhyuta you should not reject it that is one part of the answer part two is that dhyuta priya yudhishthira was a dhyuta priya he wanted to play okay but there is a limit no? once you slip you may stoop down you may slip to any extent to any extent no? you should have a limit in modern time we say we, we we set limits for an age up to this much amount i will play there after no so he did not restrict that asha asha pasham asha makes the man to think again that i may win this time this time he will never win because shakuni as a proxy to duryodhana was holding a a maya pachika which according to wish they will uh, i mean uh, give that particular uh, numbers yudhishthira is also an expert in the yuta krida but i he is learning the skill not to maya maya is much at a higher level than the normal skill okay that is a uh, another uh, thing 
So ultimately, at the end of the chapter one, Krishna makes Arjuna ready to fight the war. Unless Arjuna fights the war, there is a less probability of Pandavas winning the war. That is another thing. And Krishna and Arjuna, uh, they are brother-in-law. Krishna's own, uh, they are Naranarayana, one combination. The other two is that, is the Subhadrapati, uh, Krishna's uh, own sister's uh, husband. And apart from this, he is having a, a, a very large reason which we may not understand to cause the Kurukshetra war to happen. So under any circumstances, he cannot see that Arjuna withdraws. So he has to use 574 shlokas from this, what we have to understand to say that any speaker or that matter any person should possess a lot of communication skills so that he is able to impress and influence the other party to the extent needed, but again, positive way, in a positive way, in a right way, in a good way. These three tests should be allowed, should be checked before we do any karma. Karma is a very big, uh, very often used in this one. What is karma ultimately? Whatever we do is karma. Whatever activity we do is uh, karma. Karma comes, three-step approach to karma, first in mind, then on the time, Sometimes, sometimes we may express, we may not express. Through body language, it may be implied or not even implied. It's only intermediate. It may be present or not. Thought and action. So these are the steps in the what the karma we do. There are some non-stop karmas. You can never stop them through your life. What are they? The best example, breathing. We can't be without uh, breathing even for a fraction of a minute, maybe at the most a couple of uh, minutes. Yeah, that also, if you have this uh, meditation and uh, yoga asana practices, maybe two, three minutes, you may be told your uh, breath, uh, not uh, beyond that. So one is karma, that is what uh, often spoken in Bhagavad Gita. And then, yes, in short, I say, sattva rajo tamo gunas. They are inbuilt in the nature, prakurti dharma. Kanuka, so, any living or non-living being also cannot be without these gunas. So, Sattva Rajotama Gunaru are inbuilt as a part of the nature's dharma. I use the word SDG. SDG stands for Sustainable Development Goals in the modern times. But my SDG stands for D for dharma, S for sabhava, G for guna. All are same, but the degree varies. Dharma mu, we say, vastu dharma mu, padartha dharma mu, vastu sabhava mu, manava sabhava mu, vastu dharma mu, manishi dharma mu. So, SDG, guna mu, trait, are the characteristics of a person. So the words that are very often used in Bhagavad Gita repeatedly is one thing, karma, gunatraya, sattva, rajoguna, tamoguna, gunatrayamu, and sraddhantrayamu, everything are again linked to this SRT only. Either you are doing your karma in a sattvic way, or in a rajasic way, or in a tamasic way. Sattva means more pure, more soft, more humble, still effective. Rajo, lot of temperament, lot of pride, lot of angriness, whatever. Capacity is there, but all rakshas are rajo guna sampannu. We say sattva guna sampannata. If you are more of soft nature, rajo guna sampannata for rakshasas. And tamasa is the little dull personalities. Tamo guna sampannula. But here the point is that no person will have 100% of any of the gunas. There is a combination. But which is more in the percentage-wise? Are you more tamasic or more rajasic or more sattvic 
that decides one's personality. So this is karmas and this, uh, then bhakti. Bhakti is nothing but devotion. When you are working on a particular uh, piece of work, how devoted, how focused, how attentive you are, that denotes the bhakti or the dedication, devotion, dedication to the work. And whatever we do, we should do it in the name of the Almighty and before offering to self or others, should first offer to the Almighty. I will tell you, the, I will link up with the modern day example in official law. Dumb. Certain jivos, other things are taken or named in the name of the President of India or in the name of the Governor of India. The wording goes like that. If you extend it to a higher level, in the name of the Almighty, means Ishwar or Panabuddhi. That phrase is also there in Bhagavad Gita. Whatever work we do, it should be with a Ishwara or Panabuddhi. First, you offer to the God. God will not take it. God may take in a disguised form, and He will just take the flavor of it. You should not misconstrue that the prasada is like that only. God has not taken. You are all what you call making a drama. No. God might have taken the essence of the, this one. Then now also when I am telling Bhagavad Gita, I am not going into the each chapter of the Bhagavad Gita, but I get the essence from Bhagavad Gita while I deliver whatever I talk. Whatever is not visible to our eyes, we should not just discard it. God is not visible to us, so God is not there. May or may not be there. But you pass on the benefit to the other side. You should not take by proclaiming that there is no God. Nastika Vada. Maybe or may not be. Why don't you pass on the definite to the, uh, uh, I mean, uh, benefit of God to the other senses? You accept the uh, God is there. Even if you do not accept, at least to do not reject. That is the minimum common sense and minimum human dignity. In the guise of the freedom to speech, people just to talk all nonsense. Whatever they can, it is not dharma. It is not even nyaya. It is not even legal, illegal, but people manage law. Dharma is what we do voluntarily. And there's no question of escape from him if you are subscribing to it. So I don't subscribe to dharma. One uh, rejection, one elimination. I also don't subscribe to law. I manage to see that I am not cut. If I am cut also, I saw that it is delayed using the missing, abusing the judicial system. And that is the environment in which we are uh, staying now, which was also present in the days of Mahabharata. First Pandavas are driven out of their kingdom in the name of this Dhyuta. But Dharma, Dharma Raju, Yudhishthara, there is another version stating that he is very much aware of the intention of the Duryodhana. He knows that this fellow will be a problem to them always, at any point of time. He just postponed it by playing this Dhyuta, allowing Shakuni to play as a counterpart. Otherwise, he would have insisted that Duryodhana should only play. Even if Duryodhana is my even only if Duryodhana is my counterpart, I will say otherwise not. He could have told that. But in some versions of Mahabharata, it is said that uh, uh, I told by a saint to Yudhishthara, he knows this. And uh, they wantonly they went to the forest. 12 days, uh, 12 years of uh, Aranya Vasa, during which I always keep telling in certain sessions that. Uh, Great time and travel time utilization. They made Pandavas made best time of their wait time utilization for 12 years. And Arjuna got Pashupata, Kirata Arjuniyam. If you are interested, you must be knowing some of you that he got Pashupata, he went to Indraloka, all those things are there. So, time utilization, this we can infer from uh, uh, this Bhagavad Gita, the backbone of uh, Mahabharata whatever. And uh, the second is the Sankhya, Jnana. When I say Jnana, there is a Jnana 
there is a vidyana what is the difference vidyana is general vidyana is very specific on a particular subject and then there is a pratyeka jnana means i know and you know it shakuni was also knowing this maya jyota krida none of that later during the aranyavasa yudhishthira also learned that uh, maya jyota krida that is called yaksha vidya yaksha vidya shakuni got this information the next time he did not put a condition again to play jyota for the second time after the finishing of the aranyavasa that is uh, gone by the uh, time so a a particular knowledge which i am only capable of that we say so gyanamu vigyanamu pratyeka gyanamu ultimately what to be say tatva gyana pg even now in our universities we are awarded phd phd means at the tatva level gyan in what in physics in chemistry in botany in maths means in the given subject you have reached the highest level of knowledge that is tatva gyana and bhagavad gita gives us tatva gyana to all the human beings independent of professions to lead a peaceful calm happy anandamaya jeevanam to get it to possess it and live it live by it l i v g not l e j v g live by it the bhagavad gita gives us that much abundant uh, these things so the second chapter uh, is on uh, what we say uh, sankhya this one the third one is a uh, karma yoga karma as i was just now telling that any activity we do is the karma whatever activity we do is the karma it's a deed and uh, there are various types of uh, karmas that are given in the uh, bhagavad gita nimitta karma naimittika karma nishiddha karma vihita karma what we say in modern days do's and don'ts if you go to office you got a job manual you got a job card according to which you have to work there are certain do's certain don'ts that is profession related in life also every human being you have to go by certain rules you have to do certain things that is vihita karma you should not do these things nishiddha karma if you do a good karma karma again i divide into three good karma bad karma and the ugly karma you get the same result if you good do a good karma you get a positive result if you do a bad karma you get a negative result maybe instantly or maybe at a later date this is one thing and then there is a book called dayamti that's a different thing if the shesha i am from a bank <laughs> so in banking language they say we are born with a credit balance in terms of age i say a b c d d is for debit means reduction c for credit means addition b is balance whatever you have a is account our life is an account a prepaid card almighty has given to each of the individual individual at the time of the birth that you live for so many years which is not known to us it's a secret card maybe it's any his wish maybe in the womb maybe in infant day maybe teens maybe 70 80 100 that is one aspect past to be that is fixed what is flexible we i was telling i repeat again we spoil our physical and mental health in a sadistic way sad what is a cd we smoke and we drink spoil our health excessive smoking and drinking spoils our liver okay we are all breach b e a t the quality of our life depends on one is breathe breathing other is e eating and t thinking we should never carry negative thoughts in the mind 
against to anything any person or any object or any subject in the world during our entire lifetime we only deal with three three b entities vektulu means people vektulu means people vastulu means objects and vishayamulu means subject other than these three if you have anything you can put in the chat or you can raise in the question answer session we deal with only vektulu meaning fellow human being fhb that is one thing number 2 vastulu the goods that are available in the market i understand that there are some crores of articles across the world goods for which we have goods and services that service also a good a invisible uh, good it has no it is intangible we use the word tangible and intangible we cannot touch the service but there is a that's also a product so we have goods physical product and the service products sir so vyakti vastu vishay means subject art thing painting music dance these are all vishayas we do not deal with any fourth entity other than these three if there is anything you can now tell me later so a b c d in life account our original balance number of years of stay in this world is one thing which we do not know but additionally either we add to the balance or we subtract from the balance because of that the original balance get distracted gets changed and a new balance arrives it may be more or less why more most of the some of the people at least in the initial days they were sick but as the days pass years pass they have rebuilt their energy their uh, this one and they are giving a good uh, life contrary to it in the opposite directions up to 10 years they were healthy but victim of bad happens at the age of 30 gone they were gone that gone this gone i use the word bhlk with respect to health bhlk b is brain brain stroke h is heart heart attack liver liver misfunctioning or not functioning k for kidney kidney filters all the impurities in the body these four are the vital organs we need to take care of this i was talking about the enhancing our potential we can enhance our potential only we are when we are keeping our health up upright and right then what we should do we should keep always good company whether it's a again we 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 good people visiting good places and avoid certain bad times to meet certain people ppt i was telling ppt put together form a situation ultimately we should create construct good situations not bad situations sir we are a hand few are a limited numbers in this vvs organization it's a good company definitely we are not going to lose anything i start from the scratch there is no negativity we are not going to lose anything number 2 we are definitely gaining something i wonder why many people do not join organizations like this i am a member of so many somewhat what called a decent and a good organization in the city of hyderabad everyone should do that good people good situation good books read bhagavad gita daily try to understand uh, these things we need to to do right what are the other uh, things given in uh, this karma also again they are divided as uh, what we said agami karma lo means keeping in future in mind we work in present that we say all karmas are done in present only in present only not in past here is a very critical point the the karmas done in the present when a day passes they become stored in the past karmas we don't do in the past revisiting the past we do the karmas in the present with when the day passes a year passes 
द्विकम से फर्स्ट कर्मा एंड अगेन वी कीप डूइंग कर्मा सान ए कंटिन्यूस मिस ऑन ए डेली बेसिस सो व्हाट वी सी दैट संचित कर्मा बिकॉज यू डिड समथिंग गुड इन द पास्ट और बैड इन द पास्ट यू आर रीपिंग द बेनिफिट और ए मिस बेनिफिट और ए पनिशमेंट फॉर इट ओके सो संचित कर्मा विथ ए होप ऑन फ्यूचर you ought to be do says agami karma there is one more uh, karma called prarabdha karma means accidentally without your control we use the word sometimes fate or we blame time whatever so this is the three type of karmas this is one classification vihita karma and nishidha karma is another uh, two levels of testing uh, when i say time in our sanatan dharma nowhere in the world it is there we have a deity we have a deity for each type of activity number 1 deity for each activity ganesha to start any new work we do with ganesh puja for earning money lakshmi puja any shop opening any any what you call any factory whatever any opening lakshmi whenever you are doing akshara abhyasa or getting admissions saraswati this way for each type of activity in our day to day life we have a earmarked god or goddess for it number 2 one more beauty this human uh, there is a three classification of the people in another way uh what we say divine personalities divine people or gods whatever and the second quality is a human third is a demon daiva manava rakshasa even now like i was telling that srt satrajotamo gunas all of us we possess certain percentage of divine qualities certain human qualities certain demon qualities under the modern constructs of what we say swart strength weakness and uh, opportunity and threat uh, you can check for yourself what is the composition how divine are you how human are you how demonish or devilish are you this is another uh, check what we can uh, do is coming back to time for time also we have two distinct gods those who striking you you can put in the chart or you can write your piece of paper in the question answer session we will go by that babu sir what time i will stop at 5:30 is it okay and yes okay by 5:30 varaku nenu velochu kada velochu ha fine thank you we have two gods as far as the time is concerned who are they one is sun time gods one is sun why sun dawn to dusk sun is there so during the when sun rises it's an indication that it is morning and we need to get up and you kindly write down yourself what time do you get up i take sessions for most of the college students i ask them what time you get up i just ask at least are there any persons who get up before 6 am very few hearts in the modern days what is happening in the name of mass production in the name of shift wise working night shift all these things and this medias telecasting all unwanted nonsense things around the clock rtc not road transport corporation round the clock they transmit people who do not get sleep they see that once you are seeing that you don't get sleep this it's a what you call one to one uh, uh, this one ultimately you sleep at 12 o'clock what is the right time to sleep what is the number of sleeps one should a ordinary human being should undergo 
I use a phrase YBR. YBR stands for Y for Yogi. B for Bhogi. Bhogi means a luxurious person. Yogi means not need not be a sannyasi, a yogi, a simple person. Is yogi. Rogi means some ailment or other. Even if you are dull, you are a rogi. You need not have any particular ailment, but uh, you are more tamasic, means you are a rogi. A yogi, four hours of sleep is enough. If you are a hundred percent yogi, otherwise the range is four to six. For bhogi, you want luxury, you want to eat more. If you eat more, you sleep more. I simplify that. He requires the six to seven hours of sleep something. A rogi, eight hours a day. So in any case, not more than 80, if you have eight hours, if you are sleeping, kindly we can check for ourselves, including me. If you are sleeping for more than eight hours, we are beyond rogi, we are a regular patient. This is the one thing. And then throughout our life, we maintain only three postures in life. Every day, throughout life. Three postures in life. What are the three postures? Yes, yes, yes. Either we sit or stand or sleep. If there is any fourth posture, you kindly tell me. Okay. This is another thing. Then, Gyani, other things, uh, Bhagavad Gita, many speaks, uh, many uh, things they say. Life, we are all lifelong students. Why? Lifelong student, lifelong learning. For the simple reason that whatever is our past knowledge and the current knowledge, put together, if you are commerce uh, graduates here, some of you, there is a term called carried over and brought for. In accountancy, it is there. I correlated to spirituality. This life is carried over and a new life brought forward. Maybe or may not be. I am not uh, what you call a uh, bit neutral, but as I said, we take a benefit of doubt on that. And uh, other thing I, I left in between, what I was telling that the DMT, I was referring to that. If the punyasha remains, you have to take a rebirth to enjoy the punya. You should have a pathashesha remaining. You have to again take a manama jalma, get the scolding or beating. Scolding and beating. Now, what is the way out? You have to die without a balance of either punya or papa. If you do extreme punya, there is one more saying that you may be in the Swargaloka, but again, once your the, the trade balance of punya becomes nil, no, no overdraft, you will be dropped back to Matiloka. Anyway, they have to virtually understand their Yet our individual's level of ability to understand based on your again swap. And we have one more uh, concept we say in modern different, we say 5WH. If you put this question, one with the H, which stands for how, and 5Ws, what, when, who, where, why, when, 5Ws and 1H, yeah, we get most of the answers to any questions. All right. Let me just go to the Chapter so once again, third chapter is the Karma Yoga. Fourth one is Jnana Yoga. Karmas we can do in uh, two ways with the Jnana or Adhyana. So, fourth chapter is dedicated to Jnana Yoga. Fifth one is for uh, Karma Sanyasa Yoga. Sanyasa is relinquishment. There are two relinquishing relinquishes. One is whether you relinquish karma means do not do karma at all, part one. 
part to do you do karma but you renounce you sacrifice karma phala certain karmas you cannot renounce for example breathing breathing is also a karma according to my understand to the extent i understand can be deep of breathing unless you want to die on your satchanda maranam there is a word yes sir like bhishma was having swachcha maranam satchanda maranam we cannot stop for this uh, karma as long as we are living we cannot be without food and water minimum so certain karma we cannot give up karma phala we can give up very what you call a, a very rough example is that in monetary terms in lakshmi devi terms whatever you earn for your own personal and the family needs put two times buffer two or three times buffer beyond that if you are earning it is not your money but you are a trustee only for that money we lack this understanding if you are trusty what you should do you though you have earned you are a nimitta somebody is the nimitta for your earning you have to pump pump back to the society creating a trust or whatever way and give it back to the society because it is only from the well 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 of society that you have drawn this wealth uh, and you are a trustee not your owner for it we misunderstandingly we feel that i have earned money so it is my money not that all so this higher level of understanding is the tattva gyana which you can get to know only by repeatedly reading the bhagavad gita why so many uh, comments or commentaries are written for bhagavad gita each person is understanding their own way they are writing instead of writing uh, reading uh, various commentaries one or two standard commentaries one can read otherwise we can read for ourselves two three four times and we will get to the fathom of it we will definitely go to the fathom of it if it's not the second time third time or fourth time that we can uh, uh, get it this is a uh, gyana uh, vigyana pratyeka gyana and uh, tattva gyana that i told you gyana vigyana nirgunamu eight is akshara para brahma gyanamu akshara means alphabet is one meaning one meaning akshara means which is not the akshara which uh, i mean uh, imperishable what we say akshara akshara para para means mikkili the topmost nothing beyond that that we use the word para akshara para brahma yogamu that is the uh eighth chapter the ninth is raja vidya raja kushya raja means mighty means the highest level so raja vidya no no knowledge beyond that was in raja vidya kushya which is secret when it is secret how we are knowing it there is something like open secret what happens most of the time we see a object but still we don't understand unless the mind cooperates with us to see it i is only a, what you call a, a what we say a, a messenger or a tune like thing at the door but ultimately the connection should be through mind and mind when see this particular object mind also should have that intelligence mind and intellect you check for yourself whether you are intelligence and intellect i i these are the both parts in the mind are they working in tandem in between themselves get my question correctly in mind according to my my view we have a intelligence unit we have a intellect units intelligence is a uh, mind meda intelligence or uh, intellect is buddhi unless they work in tandem the right result will not come to execute whatever the person wants to do here one more thing there are two important words me and me me m i n g my nenu na yokka in telugu mine we know mine or my me and my you take the city my name my address my job my profession my leg everything my we know 
but who who am I? W J I. Uh, my phone who? This is a very difficult thing to answer. Very difficult to answer, but still you can answer if you go through the. You can answer to yourself. Because the answer is individual in nature. It is possible. The me, if you understand correctly, that is the original me, and all other things are the belongings of me, that we say my. We express in the terms of my. This is the another part of it. Right. Vibhuti Yogamu. Vibhuti is in the form of a powder. Shiva applies to it. It is available abundant in the burial uh, grounds. Ultimately, we are into ashes. The other meaning of vibhuti means aishwarya. Either you take uh, that highest meaning of aishwarya or a physical meaning is that ultimately we are into ashes, only flames and ashes, whatever you do it. So our life is not eternal, not even permanent. It is a long term for us. Temporary means we say a few months, few years, but in more years, if you are living for 60, 70 years, it's a long temporary. For this long temporary, why are we craving a lot to possess a lot of wealth at the cost of others, by teasing others, by harming others? When I say harm, I use three H, 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 or HN, HN, HN. First H and harm not. Second H and hurt not. Third H and hurt not. Whom? Self. People hurt themselves. I have seen number of people. They hate themselves. They harm themselves. They cut with blades. Out of fit of anger. This you don't do yourself and also to others. Right. Then Vishwarupa Sandarshana Yogamu is nothing virtually, if you say, what we say, we use a telescope to have, a, uh, we use a microscope to have a bigger version. So the nature, the Almighty, He is an embodiment of everything that way we have to take. For any factory in the, the real world, there is a owner and there is a manager. Manager runs. Owner is the ownership. So the Lord, the Bhagwan, is the owner for the entire universe. Not only the world, but the entire universe. So uh, Vishwarupa, in a miniature form, we use the word uh, bonsai for a small trees. A short form, we use the word bonsai. Like that, Within his body, Bhagavan showed everything, the entire universe, virtual meaning we need to take. Then uh, Kshetra Kshetraja is a wonderful thing. In English, if you translate, field Kshetra, fielder Kshetraja, playground, field, player, yourself. There are two fields. Field internal in you, field in the ground. Whatever the equipment you are having inside, equipped internally, equipped internally, and tooled externally, bat, external tool. Tooled externally, we play in the playground. That is Kshetra and Kshetragya. You have an internal field within you. You have an external field. So this is we have to understand. The ability to understand in the right earnest matters more. Not a, a true literary meaning of the word. You have to understand it, the depth. You have to fathom it out. Then, Gunatraya Vibhaga Yogamu. That is what I was telling. SRT in brief. Satatama, uh, Satta Rajotama Gunas. Purushottama Prapti, I interpret in my uh, way. Purusha means human being. The three also, for practical purpose, you can add in that. 
ಉತ್ತಮ ಪುರುಷ ಜೂ ಆರ್ ಎ ಪುರುಷ ಮೆನಿ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಹೌ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಯೂ ಎಲಿ ಡೇ ಟು ಯುವರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಎ ಟೋಟಲ್ ಡಿವಿನಿಟಿ ಇನ್ ಯು ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಪುರುಷೋತ್ತಮ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಗಾಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಹೈಸಿವಿಂಗ್ ಎ ಟೈಟಲ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಪುರುಷೋತ್ತಮ ಓಕೆ ಯು ಹಾವ್ ಟು ಲಿವ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ರೀಚ್ ಯು ಹಾವ್ ಟು ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಆರ್ ಎಟ್ ಲೀಸ್ಟ್ ಗೋ ನಿಯರ್ ಟು ಹಿಮ್ ದೆನ್ ವಿ ಹಾವ್ ದೈವಾಸುರ ಸಂಪತ್ ವಿಭಾಗ ಯೋಗಮು ಎಕ್ಸಲೆಂಟ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಐ ವಾಸ್ ಟೆಲ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟೀಸ್ ಡಿವೈನ್ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟೀಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಡಿವಿಲಿಶ್ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟೀಸ್ ಸುರ ಅಸುರ ದೈವ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಸುರ ದೈವ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸುರ ಆರ್ ಬೋತ್ ಆರ್ ಸೈ ದೈವ ಗಾಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಸುರ ದೈವ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಅಸುರ ಡಿಟೇಲ್ ಗ್ರಾಮರ್ ಅಸುರ ಈಸ್ ರಾಕ್ಷಸ ದೈವಾಸುರ ವಿಭಾಗ ಯೋಗಮ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಎ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ದೈವ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಅಸುರ but daiva should be more at least as should be less otherwise also gender wise each uh, man is driving a part of the feminine qualities and every female is also having a bit of male qualities that we say advaita okay in some form other everything starts from advaita takes a shape of dvaita means to once to it will not stop there it can be two and many more as long as is akhanda or advaita that's fine once you make it two nothing stops in getting it 3 4 5 10 1000 lakh crore million billion trillion whatever then uh, ಲೆವಲ್ relinquish the moksha that you earned after undergoing lot of turmoil even if to renounce this that you are the ultimate person you will be into the god no more janmas i will stop here and uh, and uh, here that the sit here uh, to share uh, with you uh, any points that you sir am i audible sir yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah sir sir uh, sir it is a very good lecture undoubtedly the Thank most you. uh, your theory and formation of uh, subject with raising a doubt and huh. allowing it to elevate to the higher plank of uh, thinking ability it was excellent where i read the chinmayanandas uh, speeches also before i go to that sir uh, as you rightly said i can yeah. put this way gita is a product of manual product manual for the human beings or the mankind yes right sir, sir. Yeah. then when that is so what ah. could be the manual before gita that is hmm. first question sir exactly. secondly hmm. secondly you said uh, you wanted the quotation of dharma hmm. as a, as far as my knowledge is uh, goes it hmm. is a code of performing duty in line with the nature is the answer hmm. from my side sir hmm. Hmm. Th- thirdly when hmm. this siddhanta and entire philosophy is based on karma what hmm. was the bad karmic deeds that pandavas have generated or done to hmm. have such a uh, non luxurious life throw their uh, mm-hmm. life sir. that is one mm-hmm. when mm-hmm. pandavas are rituals and uh, they perform very good rituals 
uh, what happened to the Pandavas army of three hmm. Akshonis? Hmm. Could they get any enlightenment or moksha? Hmm. Or, of hmm. course, Kauravas, we know that they have they will perish anyway, doing hmm. all the undo things. And these are the my questions, sir. Can you just enlighten me? But of course, you have put not many questions, four questions. <laughs> One thing, sir, uh, what was the Dharma book or whatever uh, uh, product manual before the Bhagavad Gita time, before Mahabharata, that is your point. But practically speaking, 5,000 years itself is a very long period. Uh, uh, it's almost a prehistoric period or the, towards the Back end of the history. We use the words historic and prehistoric. What could be for an investigation point of which we can go to the various uh, uh, archaeology or museums and all, we can get it. But in the current days of living, this is enough for us. That is my point. I mean, I am telling you the, uh, the relevant and the timely uh, this one, but uh, we can definitely go. Vedas were there, is it not? As I was yes, telling exactly. you. Exactly. Full time to read Vedas. We have exactly. People are not willing to go through Bhagavad Gita itself. Yes. Second one, sir. Second one, uh, what you are uh, telling is that dharma is a code of conduct in line with nature. That I agree. That hundred percent. I was telling the same thing. That you are right on that. And uh, philosophy based on dharma. That is also correct. Why Pandavas were uh, living a simple life, sir? Always one should live. Any normal means a divine human being should live, lead a life in terms of money very much below his affordability. If you are having lakhs of rupees, you leave it thousand. If you are having crores, you leave it lakhs. That is the simplest way of living. That gives one a abundant satisfaction, number one, removes the guilty. The other person will not uh, scold or curse you that it is my money, somehow you got it. And you are enjoying that curse we do not take on us. Curse and blessings as there have their importance even now, this time also. I am a firm believer on that. So we should not allow anybody to curse us, either directly or indirectly, for any matter. You may be having four rupees. You are only a trustee for it. You are spending public welfare. And reasonably you have, they're, they're, because you have earned it. And again, I do uh, tell you, sir, there are two kinds of money. One is hard end money or a primary money which we earn by trialing our physical labor or mental labor. Once you build up a minimum critical money, thereafter, money earns money, you are not so great at all because the money is earning money. You have invested, but ultimately money is in money. You are a owner only for your primary or hard end money. So Pandavas were right in living a simple life. Is it okay, sir? Of course, sir. Of course, sir. But what karma they made to take a birth uh, uh, in that uh, yuga to mm. perform all the hardships rather than the brothers took their luxurious life? Sir, their luxury was temporary. Other things. Uh, sir, they are not they are human beings. They are karma general. Come on by personal number uh, sometime. I will be happy to talk to you for any number of hours, sir. Absolutely no problem, sir. My number is available. You can note it down also. 88975. One second, sir. One second. Double nine? Yeah. Double eight. Sir, double eight. 975. 975. 97. 97. 97. 162. 162. Thank you. I, I reside at the area. Anytime you can call. Absolutely no problem, Thanks. sir. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, this was answered by Ramon Ram in the beginning itself. There are three types of people. One <laughs> normal human beings, Karan Janmulu, and then Avatar yeah, Purushan. Exactly. Yeah. These Pandavas are Karan Janmulu. Yeah. Then why do not they suffer, sir? When, yeah. when there is a Karna Janma theory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Karan day. Janma doesn't know, it doesn't have any feeling of suffering or not suffering. It's only just an indication to us, that's all. Yes, sir. Or can be interpreted that God chooses them to the instrument of dharma. Yes, he's, he's Panchapandvas are the, incar, the, uh, the different gods that come there to establish dharma. Yes. Bhagavan, before 
by doing all the stuff before he comes he has to do these people also we are all instruments in the hands of almighty yes he has sent these people first and then yes. he came and yes. to establish dharma so they are karan janmulu to help him to do the job in dwapar yuga in dwapar yuga way all so these five the whole history, the originally what oh, is telashma you want to speak Please. all these Please. five pandavas are five forms of indra devendra panchendra pakshanam is there yeah yeah so indra himself his own power assumed five different forms in the form of panch yes. pandavas through different gods and there is one more story amma you know much better than me that panchali was also she was telling ishwara uh, yes, yes. yes correct correct that is yeah that is also ah, she also in her previous uh, janma uh, she, she, she she wanted patin, it she patin had dehi, it patin dehi, patin dehi, like five never, times uh, she said so yeah. shiva granted that you will have five husbands then she wondered how can a woman a lady <laughs> a human lady can have five husbands then yeah. he says not in this birth but in the next birth you will have one husband that is one divine power in the form of five husbands even then they five together are only one so that is not any sin he says that is the boon given to draupadi mata in her previous uh, birth itself and uh, we there, use the there is another, there is another philosophical logic behind this is draupadi is not a normal woman she is also a, a supernatural avatar purusha adiya karan janma correct she is she is incarnation of the uh, devata through agni she is ayonija so she is not a normal woman so we cannot yeah, yeah. apply the normal woman normal human beings rules to karan janmas and the same rules cannot be applied to avatar purushas so this logic is to be understood properly you cannot understand i cannot attribute, uh, 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 apply one logic to other other section of it any more questions please no questions but just one thing i want to clarify even uh, dharmaraja many people those who do not have the idea of this original vyasa bharatam they think that uh, dharmaraja is a, he is very much interested in playing juda and while playing juda even though he is losing all his property this that and everything he is not at all stopping because of his they say he is judari that is the word they use but that is really very wrong he is not he is interested in playing and he is very well versed in playing juta kriya but he is not a judari he is very dharmika he says ధర్మంగా ఉండడం నా నేచర్ నా సహజ స్వభావం దట్ ఈస్ హిస్ ఓన్ నేచర్ ఈస్ టు బీ రైచ్యస్ జస్ట్ ఆస్ రామో విగ్రహం ధర్మ ఇన్ ద సేమ్ వే ధర్మరాజా ఈజ్ ఎంబాడిమెంట్ ఆఫ్ ధర్మ వాట్ ఎవర్ హీ సేస్ వాట్ ఎవర్ హీ డస్ ఈస్ హండ్రెడ్ పర్సెంట్ ధర్మ but then why he played this జూత క్రియ ఈవెన్ దో హీ ఈస్ లూజింగ్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ ఈవెన్ దట్ ఈస్ ఫర్ కీపింగ్ అప్ హిస్ ఓన్ వర్డ్స్ his own dharma he played actually at the time of performing this rajasuya yaga when everybody all those relatives who came and all other kings who came there they leave uh, hastinapura and go away even sri krishna paramatma also left that place then uh, at the end leaves vedavyasa bhagavan so while vedavyasa maharshi is about to leave them he blesses all five pandavas then they come to a little distance and then bid goodbye then all four brothers and draupadi went inside but dharmaraja followed vedavyasa maharshi uh, for a very long distance then he expressed his feeling that and he questioned actually he is like uh, tata garu for them so he said hope oh, hey bhagavan what all i did i think by this time sri krishna parmatma because he has killed the uh, sisupala chaidiraja now what all moments are seen bad in uh, moments that i saw uh, that will occur to our hastinapura and to all of us that bad might have completely gone by this time because the chaidiraja is killed so 
will we be very happy with all our citizens then vyasa bhagavan says no there is a very beautiful shloka which i actually have it uh, but uh, i don't know i am not remembering starting but he said i will put it in green, uh, in group later on uh, vyasa bhagavan says you now onwards due to you you are the reason due to you and also due to the audhatya of bhima and duryodhana now the um, calamities will start to, to occur so the mishap will take place and so many people have to die due to you you are the cause and due to the audhatya of bhima and duryodhana then he becomes very sad then goes down to vyasa bhagavan he leaves then dharmaraja comes inside and he tells to all his four brothers and draupadi devi that due to me and due to duryodhana and uh, bhima very bad calamities are going to occur so now onwards i am taking myself a pledge pratigna pratina punutunnanu he says that normally why any fighting comes if we disobey any person's orders if we hurt the feelings of others so normally there is no one except duryodhana who is envy who is feeling as if he is envy to him but dharmaraja is never feeling so now onwards whatever either a small person a young person or an aged person higher person whoever he may be whoever asks me to do any work i will obey them that is the first oath he took first pratigna he did and he says because uh, till 13 years this sort of misha may take place uh, that is what the words of yasa bhagavan so now today onwards up to 13 years i will obey everybody's words whatever anybody say i will never say no i will follow and obey till 13 years this is the second oath he took so because he is under the pressure of this oath aina chesina pratigyalu aina paatinchali kanaka aina adyuta kriyalo kaadu analedu now second reason why he did not stop even though he said in the beginning itself when duryodhana invited him to uh, come for uh, sneha juta this is not any fighting only uh, like krida like a play we, we will play there are two conditions in those days the kings have to obey whoever either invite them for fighting to come to fight or whoever invite them to come for juta kriya they should yes. never say no that is that was the rule in those days for all the kings so he just father yeah madam sorry to cut it nenu ner shop lo pigga cheppanu dharmaraju kavalane vadipoyadu పన్నెండేళ్ళు ఎంపవర్డ్ <laughs> any anybody would like to share his questions or uh, or uh, logic on this okay gautam ji bodi boli namaskar boli actually uh, uh, according to lord krishna dutu kriya was wrong because he told that had i been there i would not have uh, okay. i would have stopped 
we do the cry in in all uh, in all contexts. So according to uh, a person who is much in a higher spiritual state, do the cry is uh, wrong. So you just said you just said was in a such a state that that he could not refuse. But uh, Lord Krishna told that uh, I I would have not allowed to to happen. Any comment? सर बाबू गार क्वेश्चन एक्सप्लेन द्रौपदी वस्त्रापूर्ण uh sabotra of pandavas why you did not help them why did you make them lose ah na na i get the question sir ee rojullo kuda ippati kuda naaku meeda avasaram undi edaina nenu adigithanu kada meer help chesedi nenu kashtallo unnani telisina kuda nenu kashtallo unnan meeku telusu nenu adagandi meer help cheyaru kada and krishna is such a avatara purusha he will test everybody he cannot be tested and even he helped draupadi also when he prayed for her till such a time he allowed the nonsense to go on, to go on okay let us uh, let us leave that like that because the subject is so deep and it is very hmm. difficult hmm. to understand this and this is every every topic needs uh, a session yeah. now let us talk to the come to the bhagavad gita in every day's life that in, hmm. the, in that context i would like to share my views yeah uh, before that one uh, thing i would like to say answer mr uh, shravya's uh, uh, representative some that's and gentleman i forgot your name sir uh, see he asked what is this uh, document before this thing you answered vedas and vedas upanishads is vedas prasthana vedas upanishads brahma sutras and bhagavad gita right the document before bhagavad gita is brahma sutras before that right. is upanishads right these are the three things are same talks about same thing correct vedas upanishads which ramohan sab told that vedas are the previous document and yeah. in between there is one more document written by vedas vyasa brahma sutras mm -hmm. so upanishads brahma sutras and bhagavad gita all the three are same correct and they talk about the same thing upanishads Carried forward for three yogas, mm. and Bhagavad Gita generated in Gopri. Correct, correct. So before the next thing, as I would like to brief it, or let us close the session. We are passing time. So before that, uh, we're closing the session. I would like to share my views on this topic. Today's topic: the Bhagavad Gita can be told in one word. How it is used is like. Eka Shloka Gita. In one word is that is it is a subject of mind sciences. the subject of mind senses the development of mind from agnyanam to gnano a yes. agnyani how he reaches becomes gnani this subject this book gives that gnanam to make a agnyani to gnani a development of mind science this subject of mind senses that is at a one point answer when you go to the next level of answer you take this bhagavad gita into three 18 adhyayas or three cha three six six three shatkas First one is karma shatkam. Second yes. one is karma shatkam. Third one is gnana yeah. shatkam. So this karma shatkam explains. He explains in everything is independent. See, any every shatkam has got independently. He has explained from yeah. the logic of gnana to agnana, or agnana to gna gnana. What is gnani? What is agnana? These things everywhere he started explaining. But in karma shakam, he has given importance to karma. What is karma? How a karma is to be done? And karma, if not if not done, and what gnani does? If gnani gnani does karma sanyasam, how he does it? And what is like that? He has told in karma shakam. He has explained the karma. How the karma is to be done? Nishkam karma to be done. That's what is explained. Karma cannot be avoided. Karma cannot be avoided. Karma has to be done. and that can be done by nishkama karma and is to be done and while doing karma you have to reach gnanam by reach by going to gnanam you have to reach you have to go to the jnanam that is atma sanyasam yogam 
at the end of the things, he reaches that jhana yoga. So that's how karma, karma yoga he has completed. Then he came to the bhakti, bhakti yoga. In bhakti yoga, he explained what is Paramatma, how to realize him, how to recognize him in various shapes, how to understand him. That's what is explained in bhakti yoga and reach it at the end, a person, how he should become a understand who should understand the bhakti bhakti and to reach that moksha level of bhakti so what are the things that are that you should understand how you should see the god that's how he has explained in six ajayas and not only that he has given the ekal ajaya the, the four dimensional aspect of the thing that is uh, how a time is also involved in yes see he has given a four dimensional picture of the ka srishti to, to Arjuna. So at the ultimate, he has given that knowledge to him and made him understand what is the Bhakti Yoga, how to reach Bhakti Yoga. And in Bhakti Yoga, he told, if you do this, if you behave like this, you reach the God. If you understand like this, the three, four ways he has given. First tapas, and again, doing Agnyaga, Karvaka, Kratus, then you can, then you doing, uh, uh, finally coming to Chagama Pal Karmas. So like that he has done Bhakti Yoga. In, in coming to the Jnana Yoga, what are the qualities he should develop? What is actually, first of all, Chaitra Chaitra Gnana Bhag Yoga, he has, um, um, uh, what he has told is, uh, what is Chaitram, what is Chaitra Gnana? He has explained first Jnana in 13th Adjayam. Then he has given Gunatraya. Like that he has given, he has, re, he has taken the person, human, from Agnanam to Gnanam, what are the qualities he is supposed to have and what are the qualities he should not supposed he should not have. So that Gnanam he has given there. He has, he has given the Gnanam for bringing the human to a maturity level of reaching the Moksham. That is Moksanyas Yoga. That is second level of this thing. And when it comes to the third level of these things, every Ajaya is given a different message. So, if you talk about Arjuna Vishadha Yoga, 18 Ajayas is given, every, every Ajaya is given a different message. Though like that, 18 Ajayas is given different messages. In each Ajaya, a different message he has given. In, by taking, people mostly say Arjuna Vishadha Yoga, people say that is it's only just not a not important thing to be talked about. But it's actually there, a normal human being, what are his duties? How you should think of his relatives? What is the problem of doing yuddham? What is the problem of doing war? And what is the loss of human life? And these aspects of a common man, how you should behave. And a common man, how you should think of dharma. That's what is explained through Arjuna. And what is the mindset a bhakta should have to be taught this Gita? Nakanke Vijayam Krishna, Nacharajan Sukhanicha, Inno Gajena Govinda, Kimbo Gerji Vikenava. That elimination of philosophical level, Arjuna has reached there through Moha. So when he had reached that level, he thought this is the time to teach Arjuna the real tattva and make him real. And through Arjuna, we have been taught how we should become a mature person by knowing all these qualities around given in around 18 ajayas and every ajaya is given for example if you take sankhya yoga he has given three basic principles one basic principle is atma is separate and sadiram is separate that knowledge he has given and second one is cro how krodham is developed kama krodha buddhi nasham and then finally ultimate destruction so kama krodham that krodham no krodham no anger that's what second message he has given Third message he has given is Tita Prajnata. What is a Gnani Selakshanam? What is the quality of a Gnani? Tita Prajnata. That is he has given there. Like that, he has given every Ajaya is a, basic, a specific message to the human being to develop your mind to the level of reaching Jnana. So the, the whole concept is towards mind sciences. The whole concept is towards maturity of your mind. The whole concept is your 
establishment of your elevation of your mind so that is the basic the importance of bhagavad gita and another importance of bhagavad gita is it's not mentioning nowhere it is mentioned it is applicable to male people it is applicable to female people or it is applicable to only this uh, uh, brahmanas or it is applicable to only kshatriyas or like that no jati mata kula vichakshana nothing every because he has used one every shloka he has used yavaraite yaha 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 the yaha shabdam he has used the at shabdam gives an importance of commonality the yat shabdam in sanskritam gives an importance of commonality whoever it is that is yat shabdam meaning so in every shlokam wherever he has given the basic principle of logic he has used the yat shabdam that yat shabdam means it is applicable to anybody in the universe it is not a specific section section of people is not applicable that is another universality is there in that so giving the mind sciences developing the maturity of the mind of the human being and then universality of this topic these are the important things he has given in bhagavad gita to human mankind that's why it is eternal grantham always bhuta bhavishyat bhuta vartaman bhavishyat kalas it is always available and useful to, in all times to all people with this i i would like to close my session this session our session we shall we go close babu any more things ah to okay <clears throat> i think now we will close for today and uh, somebody wants to join your group uh, so will you like to please. yeah please ask them to give message to me my number is 9246 57 My number is Sir, 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 this this side, side, the chat box, we have asked query, query, uh, no one answered about it. Chat box, okay. query asked, let me see. there are various publications of Bhagavad Gita in Telugu. Uh, can you suggest a genuine, genuine one which can? I suggest without a blind, blindfold. Gita Makarandam by Kasa Sramam is the best book that gives a very clear understanding of Bhagavad Gita. We have completed three chap, three times now reading. Third time we are reading now. Every day seven thirty to eight o'clock we are reading. Now we are in sixteenth Ajaya. I have read last two years three times Bhagavad Gita in this group. Gita Parayana group of mine between seven and eight thirty, seven thirty and eight thirty. If you want, you can join my this thing. Gita Makarandam is the best book. In and uh, in in if for uh, Hindi, <laughs> in Hindi Gita Press books. In Telugu, Gita Press. In Telugu, Gita, Gita Makarandam. In Hindi, you take almost almost Gita Bhagavad Gita uh, Gita Press books. There are. Uh, brief books are there and detailed books are there very detailedly written in hindi hindi english telugu it is there in brief in an elaborated way in both ways it is given various books are there in gita press but gita makarandam is only one book which gives very detailed explanation and leads you to the final understanding of the subject if See, please see any 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 standard books here. If you want to read any book of our Raja or these things, either it depend on a, a established author of our country, a known Sanal Dharmi, or Gita Press books, or Banarsi Lal, or Chowkamba published books. These books gives a clear picture, correct picture of us of our uh, knowledge. Or K S R I. Kupaswami Research Institute or Bandarkar Pune, books published by these people. They have done sufficient study on our scriptures, and they give the our Sanatan Dharmic way, not the Western angle. Western angle they give the books. Study those books, understand them, then 
come to a conclusion what is correct, what is right, and what is wrong. And as far as Telugu is concerned, Bhagavad Gita, Gita Magaranda is the best book. Please read that. And not once, you have to read number of times to understand that. Depends on your level of uh, uh, understanding. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. Gotcha. And, uh, Any more questions? Uma Sundari, one, but quickly. Uma Sundari, yeah, Uma Sundari please. Quickly. Because we are running. No, no doubt, so, Guru Garu. Ma, Prabhakar Guru Garu ki chala chala dhaniwa dalu. Rojo ma ki di bhagat ki taparayanam jeepistu naru. Chala baag artham hai tetlu jeepistu naru. Dhaniwa dalu. Okay. okay. So let us do prarthana now. Yeah. No other questions, I hope. Yes, sir. Any other questions, you can directly put in the book. I can answer those things. No problem on that. Okay. And I invite all the people to the Gita Parayana class. Gita, Gita Magarantam, it's a, it's a such class we are going on, doing it. This third time we are doing it now. And it will be continue for that in future also. So, shall I do Pradhana? Yeah. So, Sahana Bhavatu, Sahana Bhunatu, Sahavivyan Karavavahai. Tejasvinavadhe tamastuma vidvishavahai Om Shanti 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 Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnam Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Sishate Om Shanti 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 Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha Sarve Santu Niramaya Sarve Bhadrani Pasyantu Makachet Dukkha Vagbhavet Om Shanti 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 Satcham Vada Dharmanchara Sarve Janaha Sukhino Bhavantu Guru Brahma Guru Vishnu Guru Devo Maheshwara Guru Sakshat Parabrahma Dasmai Sri Guru Venama Hari Om Sarvam Sri Krishna Arpanamastu Dhanam Namaskarha Okay, Now let us uh, sing, recite Vande Matra, sorry, Janaganamana National Anthem. Request all of you to stand up. Janaganamana Adhinaya Kadehi Bharata Bhagya Vidhata Punjab Sindhu Gujarat Maratha Dravida Vutkala Vanga Vindya Himachala Yamuna Ganga Utkala Vindhikaranga Tava Subha Nami Gahe Tava Subha Shisha Mahe Gahe Tava Jaya Gada Jana Gana Mangala Daya Kajaya Hi Bharata Bhagya Vidhata Jaya Hi Jaya Hi Jaya Hi Jai 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 Jai